What's going on everybody? It's your boy RNG Crypto here with you for another video guys. In today's video we're going to be talking about which currencies to actually use for some of the Bluezilla launchpads guys. And I've got a list here of all the Bluezilla launchpads as well as the currency used in order to participate in the IDO. I've had a lot of questions from you guys in the comments about what currency to use on what launchpad but also how to get some of these especially USDT onto Tron and KCC chain. So this video is going to be explaining exactly that. So we're going to start from the top to the bottom starting with ethpad that's the most simple one guys ethereum everyone knows how to buy ethereum guys that's all you need i don't really need to dive into that one bsc pad ada pad and game zone is busd which is essentially the stable coin for the binance or of the binance smart chain uh, and i'm going to show you guys a little tool that we can use to to transfer uh, some stable coin into busd so for that i've gone over to the swaps cross uh, or cross swaps platform guys this is a link that i'm going to be leaving in the description this is a really nice tool to swap uh, stable coins between four different chains actually and if you look here right now i have it set from bsc to polygon so if i were to use this now i would be switching switching uh, you know 500 or 5000 uh, busd to usdt on the polygon network but that's not what we're trying to do right now let's just say that you currently have ethereum and it's going to make me switch here to the ethereum network because i'm switching from ethereum to let's say bsc right so we want busd uh, so you would need to have usdc on the ethereum network in order to migrate over onto busd so if you have ethereum currently and that's the only token you have you could go on uniswap sell your ethereum for usdc and then you could come here and migrate your 500 usdc into busd click swap and it will actually swap it over to busd so that is one of the easy ways and you can also switch it from velas or polygon guys into busd uh, that's a really nice tool that's just come out uh, it's very easy it's going to make it very simple for us to be able to switch stable coins between chains and guys these guys are going to continue to come out with other platforms i'm, I'm assuming cardano is going to be another one in addition to the four that they already have listed so next up we have KCC pad guys and that one is the one of the more complicated ones so let's dive into this one so guys the number one way to do this to get USDT on KCC pad is to actually have a KuCoin exchange uh, account uh, they have this globally uh, it's also available for US uh, so you would and have your USDT here uh, you would deposit let's say ERC20 uh, USDT so I would go in here I would deposit from my MetaMask uh, my USDT into uh, KuCoin and then once it's deposited let me go back here and it actually appears here as the total then you now go to withdraw and then when you withdraw you know you got to have here you, that you understand this you would withdraw and you would withdraw into the KCC chain make sure that you switch your network to KCC uh, and then you can see the USDT fee has actually gone down tremendously it used to be like 20 bucks uh, so this is actually viable doing um, so make sure that you send your ERC20 or Ethereum base or uh, whatever other uh, networks KuCoin would support into KuCoin and then when you go and withdraw you would make sure that you are selecting the KCC network right here and you can actually do this for Tron pad as well and use the Tron or TRC20 uh, network if you need it uh, USDT on the Tron network so you have both your KCC and Tron on here the other way guys because at the time of IDO KCC uh, KuCoin gets bogged down there's another little workaround that you can do where you would actually need to uh, purchase and sell KCC pad and for that we would go into so after you've purchased your KCC pad on PancakeSwap you would go onto uh, the website here and you would bridge your KCC pad that you've purchased on PancakeSwap right it's Binance chain um, um, KCC pad you would bridge that over onto KuCoin KSC or KCC pad and uh, once you've done that once it's over on the KuCoin chain you would go into this website here kccswap.io and here you can actually uh, sell your KCC pad for KCS which is the uh, actual layer one or, or chain token for the KuCoin community chain so once you've swapped your KCC pad to the KCS, uh, you will go into another decentralized exchange called CoffeeSwap. And here you can actually see here, you're changing your KCS to USDT. And that's another way of doing it. It's a little more complicated. However, um, if you are uh, down to a crunch and KuCoin is bogged down, meaning that, you know, I've tried this before about 20 minutes prior to IDO time, and it took me about four hours for this to even finish because everyone was doing it. Uh, so that way, uh, if you're shortly before the IDO launch, uh, you can do the workaround where you're using both KCS and CoffeeSwap. And then finally, guys, 
what do we have next here? Next is Velas Pad, and this is actually also on the um, same tool that I was just sharing. Uh, going back into the swaps uh, here, I could go. Let's say my um, let's go. B I have my current BUSD on Binance Smart Chain, and I wanted to have USDT on the Velas Chain. Uh, I can actually change that here as well. So now I'm changing BSC. BSC BUSD onto USDT on Vela. So you can also use this tool for that. And the assumption that USDT is going to be used for the IDOs on Vela is one I'm making uh, based on this tool. Uh, these guys are working in collaboration with Bluezilla. Um, so I'm assuming that Vela's IDOs are going to be using USDT. Uh, the other option would be the VLX or the Vela's Layer 1 token, uh, which uh, I doubt is going to be the case, guys. But guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you this tool. Go in here and play around. I will leave the links in this description. Make sure that you check them out. Uh, get familiarized with them. Uh, obviously, for the first one, maybe do like one uh, of each. Do an increment of one, not the entire thing, because you don't, never know, you know, just to make sure that uh, everything works correctly. And then if it works, then go ahead and do your full amount, whatever that's going to be, guys. That's all for me, guys. I'm going to leave it with this. I hope you liked the content. I hope it was informative. I hope it was uh, something that you can actually apply for yourselves, guys. With that said, I am out. See you guys on the next one.